Joshua is known as one of the heroes of the Bible. One of the biggest things in the Bible that happened with him is that the sun stood still because he commanded it so in the name of God. But what's interesting about the sun standing still is it actually happened amidst one of his greatest failures. In Joshua chapter 8, after a singular um, overcoming of and capture and destruction of Ai, Joshua and the rest of the Israelites are rejoicing that they have been able to come so far and conquer these great nations around them. But then Joshua chapter 9 comes and the deceit of the Gibeonites and how they pretended to be from a faraway nation and they came and asked to be the allies of the Israelites. And so they came and with their stale bread and their rotting clothes and said, we're from a faraway nation, please make peace with us. And it looks all right. It looks like they are from far away and it looks like they're very humble and in need. And so Joshua makes peace with them. In Joshua chapter 9, verse 14, though, it says their mistake. And it says, verse 14, And the men of Israel took some of their provisions, but they did not ask counsel of the Lord. So Joshua made peace with them and made a covenant with them to let them live. And the rulers of the congregation swore to them. Verse 14 says they did not ask counsel of the Lord. You would think Joshua, of all people, of all people would know to ask counsel of the Lord. This was a man who had stood firm in the face of adversity, stood firm in the face of failure and so many people around him. And even when this opportunity comes up to him, it looks so logical, it looks so plain that he didn't ask counsel of the Lord. And then the Gibeonites um, are under attack by surrounding kings and he is thrown into this war with these people that he had no business fighting with. Now, it seems like Joshua got himself in trouble. It's his own fault. He shouldn't have made himself an ally to the Gibeonites. He shouldn't have promised something that was no place for him to promise. He should have asked the counsel of the Lord. He's going to get what's coming to him. But chapter 10 of Joshua is when the sun stands still. And it is when Joshua is working on behalf of the Gibeonites to push back their enemies. And what's interesting too is Joshua doesn't even come to God any, in any overt way in chapter 10. He doesn't come to God and say, hey, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done this. But God actually reaches out first in verse 8 of chapter 10. It says, And the Lord said to Joshua, Do not fear them, for I have delivered them into your hand. Not a man of them shall stand before you. Joshua's mistake did not invalidate him to be able to be used by God's hand. It didn't make God say, Oh, you made one mistake. I'm done with you forever. God over, overstepped, overlooked, forgave, accepted his repentance, and used Joshua even though he had made a treaty that he had no, no business making. And so the sun standing still wasn't a miracle of faithfulness, but it's a miracle of a mistake. This war never should have happened, but God will still make the sun stand still so you can win this war. Sometimes, even when we shouldn't, we're in places that God knew we shouldn't have gone. We're in places we have no business being. We're talking to people we have no business talking to. But that is not the time for us to forsake God. That is the time to call upon God's name and ask for a miracle. If we repent, if we are honest with God with our mistakes, God will even make the sun stand still when we're fighting a war that we have no business fighting. And God can give us the victory because God is merciful and God is willing to use us as long as we're willing to be used by his hand.